Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So I'm going to be showing you today how to do this 3D sweater design here on my ring finger. It's so popular at the moment sort of all over Facebook and Instagram and one of my fellow nail technicians Ruth Munro um, who's also on YouTube as Little Blank Spaces and um, I'll leave her YouTube and Instagram links down below for you um, but she recently sort of did a tutorial um, on how to do this um, and it was great and I loved the effect so I knew that I had to try it out myself. It's a very similar technique as um, the Velveteen Roses um, but I would actually say that this is a little bit easier than the Roses to just sort of do for um, anybody but yeah I'm going to show you today how I created this nail because it's awesome for sort of like autumn and winter and can be done in so many different colours um, but yeah we'll just get straight into this tutorial. So I'm just going to be showing you on a nail pop today and I'm going to use the same colour as I've got on which is Magpie Gel Colour in Woanelli just because I really like the colour. So I'm just going to do um, one coat for my sort of base but obviously if you're doing this on a client you would have done your base coat and your first layer of colour and then this is your second layer of colour so and I'm just going to cure that for 60 seconds in my lamp. Okay so once that's been fully cured I'm then going to go in with Let It Shine Magpie Top Coat and this is the normal gel top coat so we're basically sort of finishing off this nail completely and then I'm going to cure that in my lamp for 60 seconds. So then once that's been fully cured, I'm going to get my Magpie cleanser and a lymph-free wipe and wipe off that inhibition layer and the tacky layer and just make sure that the nail is completely dry without any cleanser or anything on it. Like that. So then I'm going to get my ring thing and I'm going to start off with the Magpie striper brush and I'm going to get the same shade, Woanelli, and just pop some of that onto my ring thing. So then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint two straight lines down either so side of the centre of the nail. So you can have um, a little bit more on your brush than you might normally have. Um, just because we want these lines to be seen, we don't want them to be super, super thin. There's one. And then there's the other one. So then I'm going to get the Magpie Detailer Brush. And I'm basically going to do some sort of squiggles down in the middle of the nail. So again, these don't have to be super thin, but they don't you don't want them to be super thick either. So and then I'm just gonna do exactly the same down either sides. Of the stripes you can obviously do different patterns but this is the sort of most common one I would say and I like to have them sort of going all in the same direction as well but you can mix it up if you want to like that so then before I cure that in my lamp I'm just going to get um, some clear acrylic powder. So I'm just using CJP in crystal glass. And I've just got a clean nail pop. And all I'm gonna do is just sprinkle the acrylic powder all over the nail. So this is exactly what I did for the Velveteen Roses. I'll leave my um, tutorial down below for those ones as well, because it's the same process it's just a different design basically so so now I'm going to cure that in my lamp twice so for the magpie gels I'm going to cure for two minutes 
So then once that's been cured twice, I'm then just going to use the Magpie duster brush and brush off all of that excess acrylic powder. So that's what you're left with. Then what I like to do is the lint-free wipe that I used to cleanse the tacky layer from Let It Shine Off. It's quite sort of moist still. So all I'm gonna do just with that is wipe over the nail once, just with the residue of the cleanser on there. And there you have it. It's a really nice, simple design. Doesn't feel um, horrible or anything like that. It's quite, um, it's not like a sugar effect where it's really rough or anything. Really does feel nice and smooth on the nail. Obviously you can use glitter instead of acrylic powder if you want to, but instead of using the color, you would use a no wipe top coat. Um, but I love these nails, I think they're really awesome and obviously you can see from my nail to the one that I've just done I've had this one on for um, about a week now so it's not really changed in appearance so I hope that you liked this tutorial guys please like and subscribe for future videos and I'll see you all again soon bye